Oh, hola amigos, soy Sean con Spanish 55. Valentine's Day is right around the corner and we wanted to give you something special. Spanish is one of the most passionate, romantic languages around the world. So I'm going to give you some romantic phrases that you can use to impress your significant other. Now, of course, learning some of these romantic phrases, a couple pickup lines can be very useful. But at some point, you're going to need to take that conversation to the next level. So don't be shy. Head over to Spanish55.com. You'll find some of our amazing coaches. They're going to help you take your conversation skills to the next level. That way you can keep the conversation going after you learn some of these romantic phrases. Okay, now let's get on to these romantic phrases. Okay, so let's just start out with an easy one. Te amo. I love you. Te amo. Te amo, mi amor. Ay, mi amor, yo te amo más. Te amo is strong, okay? Be careful with te amo. You don't just go saying te amo to someone right away, okay? You don't say te amo to the person that you're dancing salsa bachata reggaeton with, unless you're having like a really, really good time dancing, then maybe, but te amo takes a while. All right, the next one on the list is also pretty easy. Me gustas. I like you. Me gustas. Now this one, it's pretty easy to get to this level, right? Like you can get to this level in direct messages on Instagram with someone you've never even met in person before, right? Believe me, I've been there. When you get to me gustas mucho, I like you a lot, now we're getting somewhere and you probably should actually know this person in person at this point. So me gustas, I like you, me gustas mucho, I really like you. Then there's te quiero, like that's kind of in between me gustas and te amo. I really, I don't think that any non-native speaker, myself included obviously, really understands where we draw the line between te quiero and te amo. But anyway, it's a bonus one, te quiero. All right, I really like this next one we got on the list. Me vuelves loco, or me vuelves loca, if you're a girl saying it, right? Love this. Shout out to anybody who knows the song Ben Bailalo by Chris y Angel. Ben Bailalo. I'm not gonna get into all the lyrics, but there's a part at the end. I don't even know if it's at the end, right? But it's que me vuelves loco cuando tú me besas, mami. Oh, I didn't even explain what it means yet. It means you drive me crazy. Me vuelves loco. Me vuelves loca. You see, I'm cutting the S a little bit. Sometimes they do that. Me vuelves is me vuelve. Me vuelve loco. It's kind of like the Caribbean Venezuelan accent. Next one on this list comes straight out of the novelas, the soap operas. Me robaste el corazón. You, well, you stole my heart. You captured my heart. However you want to translate it, right? Me robaste el corazón. Ay, Juan Miguel, me robaste el corazón. Ay, pero Patricia, tú me robaste el corazón a mí. At least till next week, right? All right, now this next one. We're getting even deeper than me robaste el corazón. We're really getting deep. We're saying, no puedo vivir sin ti. I can't live without you. No puedo vivir sin ti. Now, depending on who you are and what your background is, this may seem like a little bit of a stretch to you, right? Are we taking this too far? I can't live without you. Like, really? Can you really not live without this other person? No puedo vivir sin ti. Okay, work with me here. All right, whether or not that's exactly true, what I said at the beginning, Spanish is a very passionate language, okay? We're being very passionate. We're fitting in with the culture, okay? This is the way people speak a lot of times, okay? I'm just trying to help you out with your Spanish here. No puedo vivir sin ti. Guarantee you, if you say that to your Spanish significant other, Spanish speaking significant other, he or she is gonna love, you, okay? as long as you're somewhat far enough into the relationship where it sounds legitimate. Next one we got on the list is Solo puedo pensar en ti. I can only think about you. Solo puedo pensar en ti. And then of course, if you get yourself a real Latina, she's gonna be like, yeah, you better only be able to think about me, dude. All right, the next one is simple yet important. Besame. Kiss me. Besame. Dame un beso. Give me a kiss. Besame. You know, I was trying to sit here and think about whether or not I have the skill set like to, to give some kisses at the camera, you know. Mm, ah, forget about it, I ain't gonna try that, but besame, kiss me. Next one we've got is, 
¿Quieres salir conmigo? Do you want to go out with me? Now, this one can lead to romance, but it doesn't even necessarily have to be romantic. It can be like just as a friend, right? And it's actually kind of a good one to use if you're just not sure how interested you are in the person yet, right? ¿Quieres salir conmigo? And then if it doesn't go that well, oh, no, 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 we were just friends, just amigos, whatever, you know? Then if you are really interested in the person, you can just be like, yeah, that's what I meant the whole time. I was looking for romance, of course, right? I wanted you to robarme el corazón and it worked. Next one on the list is ¿Quieres ser mi novia? It's ¿Quieres ser mi novio? If you're asking someone, do you want to be my boyfriend? But I'm asking, do you want to be my girlfriend? ¿Quieres ser mi novia? Now, I can't give you the best advice on how to do this in the best possible way, in the best possible situation. I can tell you a lot about how to do it the wrong way or in the wrong situation. Like, you can't just go down this list of phrases we've been learning and be like dancing to Crisi Angel, Ben Bailalo, and be like, Que me vuelve loco cuando tu. And then be like, Besame, besame. And then, like, 10 minutes later, Quieres ser mi novia? It doesn't work like that, okay? You gotta put a little more work in than that. And the last one we got on this list is the big one Casate conmigo. Marry me. Casate conmigo. There's a song. What is it? Nicky Jam and Silvestre, right? Casate conmigo. You know I'm a horrible singer, right? Casate conmigo. Después de tanto tiempo, si estamos juntos en el destino. Casate conmigo. Now I can sing that song and have a great time with it. But I can't actually give you any real life advice on how to use that phrase because I have never to this point used that phrase, neither in English nor in Spanish, in my life. So if you decide to use that phrase, casate conmigo, well, good luck to you, my friend. You do so at your own risk. Hopefully things will work out great for you. And Dios te bendiga. God be with you. That was like, God bless you. But be with you, bless you, you get the point. Ya lo tienen. Those were just a few of the most romantic phrases in Spanish you can use. Drop a comment down below. Let us know which ones you're going to use to try to get that special date. And a big shout out to Mariana, Spanish 55 student advisor, who had the idea for this wonderful video. Thank you, Mariana. Don't forget to subscribe to the Spanish 55 channel. Check out the other videos. Drop a like. Leave a comment on your favorite ones. And make sure to book a free consult with one of our amazing tutors on Spanish55.com. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hasta pronto, amigos. I don't know how many times I've asked for someone to explain the difference to me between te quiero and te amo. They basically both mean I love you. They almost just a little bit like stronger, right? But it's kind of weird because in English, we just pretty much have like an I love you, you know? I mean, we have like I like you, of course, but like adults don't really say that to each other. I like you a lot, honey. Que me vuelves loco cuando tu me besas mami. Or me besas a mi? I don't know. Me besas a mi? Me besas mami? Que me vuelves loco.